guys welcome to another episode of buzz lady quick one today i want to show you two different passing notes you can make use of on this worship song that i just finished playing okay they are simple to understand and very easy to play this passing note can also be used on other worship songs you come across okay so you don't just limit yourself to this song i teach the movement on so guys before we proceed to what i want to show you the movement i want to show you on the base on this worship song if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button looking at you and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload videos okay i upload videos every week so you don't miss out okay so hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell okay now this song is a very simple worship song sing this in our local churches in our local churches okay unto the lord be the glory great things he has done unto the lord be the glory great things he has done now the song i played the song on key a okay and every of the chord progression on that song is almost all the notes you have on your a major scale the only note I didn't touch there was the T, was the 7. Okay, now, the song progression is just simple. They are basic gospel progression you always come across. Okay, so now, this is the progression. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things you have done. Unto the Lord be the glory great things you have done mm. right now if you check the progression is like i said is almost all the notes you have on your a major scale onto the do be the fa grace on me onto the la re then so If you notice we didn't play the T. Okay. Now this is just the foundation of the song, the pillar of the song. What makes the song sound this way? The the reading, the arrangement, you know, this this is just it. These are the progression. One, four, know the progression of the song how to spice it up matters how to color it with passing movement matters you also need to think of how you can just um improvise on the song okay that's the passing note i'm talking about okay so if you're doing this it's fine unto the lord it's cool for you to play it like this but as a bass player you need to add some colors to your movement to your progression be the glory, great things he has done. Now, advanced way you can play it, you can spice it up, is those passing movements I want to introduce to you. You must have come across these passing movements. They help a lot for you to sound more interesting on the bass. Now I'm going to show you the first movement I made use of on that song was this the first passing movement passing notes i made use of was the onto sound more 
interesting. Okay, now what I did was five, one, four, drop to my four, then I went to six, five, flat five, seven, just a walk down to your three, chromatic walk down to your three, two, flat three, three, then drop to six. Now you're dropping to six. The six movement was okay. This is my one. Don't forget, this is my two. This is my three. So I started from three. From three, I went to five. One, five, six. That's how it will sound. Okay? So that's it. Three, five, one, five, six. Movement to two, three, six, two, three, six, two, great things, five, simple. If you start making use of this passing movement, I bet you any song you come across, you won't be afraid to approach them. You won't be afraid to play them, okay? Because most times, all these movements, you can actually use them on other songs you come across. Apart from this song, you can copy them, copy the movements, and make use of them on other song you come across. It's simple. So, Tony's of notation is going to be... So, do, fa, la, so, fi, ti, re, mo, mi, mi, so, do, so, la. Now, the second movement I made use of there, still on the same song, is this. Five, three, four. If you notice, I use the same pattern. Five, three, four, six. That was it. Okay? So, five, three, four, six. Flat five. Five. Okay? Then the next movement I did, I'm going to my three chord. Remember the progression. After your four on the progression is your five. From five, you're going to three. Then three, you're going to six. Six, you're going to two. Then two, you're going to five. Then you end it. So the movement I made use of, the second movement I made use of, passing movement I made use of, passing notes I made use of was this. Five, three, four, six, flat, five, five. Then I went, I'm going to three. I did six, five, four, three. Then I did a chromatic walk down to my six, from five to six. Okay, five flat six six. Then I did something like this. Okay, six three flat three two climb to six. Then repeat it again. Three flat three two. Then drop to five. Then one. That's it. Tony's of notation is this. So, mi, fa, la, fi, so, la, so, fa, mi, so, si, la, mi, mo, re, la, mi, mo, re, mi, mo, re, la, mi, mo, re, mi, mo, re, la, mi, mo, re. Watch the fingering. Mi, mo, re. Now let me put everything together so you hear how it sounds. Thank you. 
interesting, sound lovely, right? So if you can work on this passing movement, I bet you any song you come across, you won't be afraid to approach them. You won't be afraid to make use of passing notes. Passing notes, if you notice, I didn't go outside the box. I didn't go outside the box. Every note of the A major scale, that is what I'm using to serve as my passing movement to the next chord progression I'm going. So guys, this is everything I want to share with you today. Hope you got one or two things. Take it, practice, see how you can just improvise on them. Okay. And um, also, guys, I have some package I've segmented into different parts of learning the bass guitar. As you can request for them. I have package on the pentatonic. You know, how to start making use of pentatonic when you play to song, groove. You know, I have package on the reggae. Um, you want to improve your reggae bass lines. I have package on reggae. I have on the praise. I also have on the praise. If you want to really improve your praise bass lines, there yeah, package for that. Worship also and Makosa. Simple basic Makosa um, bass line you want to learn. Okay? I have package on them. All of them. Okay, so you can chat me by WhatsApp or you can email me requesting you want any of this package. It's not free, it's going to cost you and it's affordable anyway. So, that's it. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.